Hello, how's it going? Happy Monday, fun day, whatever you call it. I'm off to work for another five days and it's a beautiful sunny day in Colorado. So today we'll be looking at a pretty cool little tip trick for these roll-up vacuums. Now, one problem I usually have with these guys is the limited features if you don't have your smartphone glued to your hand. So yes, a lot of these roll-up vacuums, you have these physical buttons. You can tell it to go out and clean a whole house. You can tell it to go back to the stop station wash their mopping pads, but what if you want to just quickly go to a room without having to pull your smartphone? Well, here's a quick solution. Start selected room cleaning. Start Okay, so why would you do this? Well, maybe you have a family member that doesn't have access to the app on a device, or they don't have a smartphone altogether. This is a great way for them to still use the roll-up vacuum, not having to physically move it to an area to clean. Now, this is a pretty simple solution. A lot of you may have just a cheap Android tablet you're not using laying around, and there's a lot of ways to mount it. You can mount it up top, mount it on a side. I do recommend using Gorilla Tape, like a double-sided stick tape, so it's more of, of a permanent solution. Or you could use a magnetic solution, which I'll put links down below. So hopefully more companies will start adding a touchscreen to their dock, kind of give it more of a futuristic look. I know Nara has been doing this, but the features have been pretty limited. Okay, so when they're done, yes, you could tell the robot to go back with the dock's onboard buttons. But, you know what, you need a touch screen. So let's go ahead and tell it to go back here. Yep. Confirm. And we'll tell it to go back. Return to the charger. Okay, so tablets these days are pretty cheap. You could probably find them for less than $50, like an Amazon tablet, or even like a cheap uh, no-brain tablet works fine. As long as it runs on Android, uh, a lot of these tablets will work. So if you have an old tablet laying around, you can just install it on your docking station, either like this, up top, or even on like the lid. And it's a great handy feature if you want to access all the features without having to use a smartphone. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial. Have a great rest of the day. Catch you guys later and uh, see you next time. And stick around because I do have some cool little backings and some new uh, robot mowers coming down the pipeline as well. All right, adios.